Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys tuning in today. What we got, we're gonna go over this uh, monthly six cents subscription bag that I do and some stuff that I picked up here at the local shop. Uh, some of it's stuff that I just needed to restock on, some of it's stuff that I've not used before. Uh, just gonna go over all that and give you guys an update on what we've got going on. Uh, if you're subscribed to the channel, I want to thank you. I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, please take the time to hit that subscribe button. That way you know when something new comes out. Uh, it helps the channel to be seen by more, the, more, the bigger we can build the channel, uh, more people and, and help other people to see this stuff. Um, we'll do some tackle reviews, some tackle hauls of stuff that I order, stuff that I pick up at the stores, um, some on the water fishing videos, some best of every month baits and stuff like that. So. Uh, we'll try to do a little bit of all that and I want to expand and continue to do more so uh, if any of that stuff interests you hit that subscribe button and expect to see quite a bit of stuff coming out here in the future uh, let's get into it we'll start with this six cents bag I did open this up already and cheated so I kind of know what's in here a little bit but uh, for starters we've got the crush flat 75x and this is in the uh, wild lava crawl we're gonna crack all these open so we can take a look at them if you've watched any of the past videos you can tell that uh, I like my six cent stuff the hardware on it's really good and the the paint schemes on it's really good but they've been sending a lot of these uh, crawl colored baits lately and with good reason it's uh, it's a big thing right now, especially here on Chickamauga. Springtime, they, they start feeding up on that stuff and, and it's a, a good time to get out and, and throw those red colors. That flat sided uh, crankbait is going to be a little more subtle, something that they don't see as much. They see people out throwing just your regular old crankbaits, so getting out and throwing this uh, flat 75, it's got pretty good rattle to it. Uh, five eighths ounce, two to five feet. So be able to get out and throw that thing around. Hopefully get us a few on that. Next up, we've got a Crush Mini 25X. And it is the thread fin shaft. Crack this thing open. These, these crushes. This thing is tiny, tiny. So when you take that 25 and you compare to this 75, I mean, you can, that's quite a bit different. Different profile. But again, you've got that uh, top tier hardware. You got your good split rings, your good hooks, and that awesome paint color. It's hard to beat. Move on along. Got a Provoke 97X. It's the smaller version of their uh, jerkbait lineup, and this is in that Profit Shad color. I absolutely love this color. I don't think I have. No, I've got some of the 106s. I don't have any of the 97s. I didn't think I did. God, that looks good. It's got a, you got that chartreuse line on the side. You got your kind of purplish, bluish back. Got your red gill plates and you got a little hint of chartreuse right here underneath. With those fish, the way they feed up, being able to see that chartreuse right there gives them something to key in on, which is dead on that hook. So I love the fact that it's got that little little hint of chartreuse right there on the uh, on that front hook. That'll be awesome. Next up, we've got the Munch 40, and it's a 2.5. And this is a uh, two to three foot diving 
and it's in that bold crawfish color. Little different action than your Crush series. <clears throat> different bill on it. Different. Uh, gonna have it's not your little square bill. It's it's, it's a little different, but uh, you're gonna have just a different action with this to, uh, wider wobble. And uh, I've got out and threw one of them around, uh, and it's definitely it's it's just different than than the other ones that that I have so it's something to give them a little different presentation uh, in that same color pattern and it says the six cents munch was designed as the ultimate all-purpose crankbait uh, diving two to four feet this crankbait can be used around almost any type of shallow cover and what makes it unique is the hard thumping and hunting action in a smaller profile crankbait so it's going to be hunting bouncing back and forth <clears throat> without having to deflect off that cover as much. It's gonna have that that uh, erratic action to it and you don't have to put that on there with the rod or anything. It's just it's just gonna be hunting. So you get that added action and uh, that loud pump as it says. So it's just something a little different. So uh, it's always good to get this different stuff. I'm not gonna open this one up. But this is the Axle Hybrid Jig. And this one is in the black light color. It's like a black with uh, purple and like a blue flake in there. It should show up pretty good. Keep moving on along. We got some jugular hybrid hooks. And I'm gonna take one of these out because I really like these hooks. <clears throat> You got, I've got a bunch of their, their terminal tackle and, and it's all good, but these, uh, using these as a, a worm hook and, uh, certain, certain Texas rig baits and it not just always works. You always get, get a good hook up on these things. So I like those. And then lastly, we got the Ned Fry in the melon dust color and this color I absolutely love it so you've got I don't even know how to explain it it's got a, a like a blue tint to it I don't know how well it'll show up but then you got a green bottom the the back's kind of brown but it's got that blue tint to it and uh, you got a flat bottom here and then you got the ribs all around it but it's basically like a like a stick worm, but it's got a flat bottom on it. Be able to do a lot of stuff with this. Uh, Texas rig it, wacky rig it, Ned. Uh, do a little bigger style Ned with these, or you cut them down and, and then you get two baits. So uh, a lot of stuff you can do with these. Um, look forward to getting out and trying those things out as well. <clears throat> Next, we'll go ahead and go over this line that I got. So... Uh, Kayak Bass Nation podcast. If you guys don't listen to that, I recommend it. If you like to stay up to date on all the stuff and, and you like some good comedy, because those guys over there, they, they get some guys on and it, it's pretty good, pretty funny stuff. But they ended up, they, they do a, a giveaway every week. Uh, sometimes it's sunglasses, sometimes it's a cigar pack, sometimes it's a Z-Man pack, and uh, they've gave away quite a bit of other stuff. But I got that cigar pack and they come with two packs of uh, Smackdown braid and this one's the stealth gray in 40 pound and this is the flash of green in uh, 15 pound the flash green is I mean it's it's a, like a chartreuse bright green but I'm really liking this stealth gray uh, I don't know how well that'll show up but I typically do that green power pro but I'm pretty excited to get out and try this out and, and see see how well it holds up. Seaguar's a big name. I mean, that's good stuff. So excited to have this stuff and, and get out and try it as well. All right, now we're going to start digging through this uh, bag of stuff that I got. 
at the shop here in town. Um, Real Deal Tackle is the shop. Um, if you guys haven't heard of it, you can get online, check them out. It's realdealtackle.com. They've got a lot of good deals and they carry everything you can imagine. Um, Michael Neal owns it, pro fisherman, and they, they stay stocked on all the good stuff. So if you guys haven't, I highly recommend checking them out. But we'll start off with these uh, Mega Bass Waze swimmers. And what it is is you've got a underspin attached to a swim jig, basically. And I bought one of these things. They're like 12 bucks a piece. So they're not a cheap underspin or swim jig. But the fish attraction power of these things, for lack of a better word, is unbelievable. So I can go out and throw these things and the fish absolutely love them. This one, both of these are actually the smoke shad color. This is the color I do really well on here. This one's a quarter ounce, the other one's a half ounce. And uh, I'm gonna get one of these swim baits and put on here and show you guys kind of what this looks like with the swim bait on it. And what I'm putting on here is the Storm Largo Shads in the Tennessee Shad color. It pairs up really nice on here, looks good. So I just get all this skirt out of the way. Find out how far. Really easy to fish these things. I mean, throw it out and and wind basically. Kill it every now and then, let it fall, slow roll this thing over some where you know some cover's at, any kind of brush or rock or anything, and they'll just come out and annihilate these things. But it looks really good when you get that swim bait on there. I like to use a, a paddle tail on there. Gives it a little extra thump, a little extra action. And then you got that little spinner down below it just flashing and, and giving them all that to look at. So um, the half ounce is a little bit bigger in size, but it's it's not giant by any means. They, and they do have some, some bigger sizes of these as well. They got a four alt hook in them. Both of these have the four alt hook, but if you haven't checked these out, I, I highly recommend this Mega Bass Underspin. Getting out and checking that thing out. Also, while I was there today, I picked up the G-Man Buzzbait. And this is a skirtless Buzzbait. Get out and make a lot of noise and, and put some stuff on the back of this. and. I like some skirtless ones sometimes to get out and throw around, but this is the Buckeye Lures. It's called the G-Buzz. What else we got? So, I got some of the Rapala Crush City in the little swim baits too. And I got the, I think that's a three, and that's a four. Yeah, so got the three inch and the four inch. Crack these open. They, they look a lot like those Largo Shads, but that Largo Shad has a, a little thing on the tail where you can uh, rip apart and it changes the action a little bit on them. But these Crush Cities, this is that Tennessee Shad as well. So I hadn't tried any of these, so I wanted to get these and give them a shot and see what I thought about them. I like to have options when it comes to, to swim baits and trailers, so figured I'd grab these and, and check them out. Uh, the Crush City stuff is supposed to have the smart injection technology that's got the, the scent and stuff on it. Uh, if you guys hadn't tried many of the scents, I used to be a person that thought it didn't matter. And then I uh, got some of this bait fuel. Started using this, putting this stuff on my soft plastics and stuff. And it seems like it makes them bite a little different. Hold on to that, that lure a little longer. Instead of just grabbing it, tasting that plastic, realizing it's not real food and spitting it out, this uh, seems to make them hold on to it a little more. So 
that's something if you haven't uh, checked out to to give it a go and see if it helps you out. It, it definitely helped a lot of people that I've talked to out. Next in here we've got the uh, oddly enough more six cents but this is the Bosa 6.5 shaky worms and my reason in getting these this is the plum is to pair up with that wobble head lure that I like so much put this thing on there and get that snake in action but I hadn't tried these boosters yet and where it's got that rib down it I think it's going to give a different action but also it's going to give a different amount of water displacement so it's going to it's going to give the fish a different presentation if I'm catching them on the the zoom trick worm and the bite dies down swap out put this on and it's going to give that different water displacement a little different look a little different sound and hopefully be able to pick up some more bites if if it dies down one way or the other just be able to swap back and forth <clears throat> um next i got this i didn't pick this up at real deal i actually got this at a dick sporting goods <clears throat> and they had this thing marked down i'd seen them online and wanted to try them so i grabbed one and uh it's the 13 fishing uh coalition baits and this is their bluegill and this is like just a, a hollow body uh soft plastic gill bait big uh, paddle tail on the back i'm not going to crack this thing open because it's a little harder to get into but it does have the clamshell to put it back in after you open it um it's got the little pins here because it's uh set to rig with a screw lock owner beast hook so you put that screw lock in and then you put this little pin these little clear pins here you put one of those through that screw lock and it just helps hold it on there a little better and then lastly i've been wanting to get my hands on one of these and they're kind of hard to come by sometimes it depends when you can find them there'll be a ton of them and then they disappear all at once but it's the burrito baits by it's a bull shad and burrito did like a collab i guess and uh, made these but this is the tactical bass and did their color and it's the tactical shad but this thing is legit they're made out of silicone so they're super super stretchy and durable and it's not it's not a swim bait you're gonna go out and and catch two fish on and have to swap out and get a different one this thing from what i've seen these things take absolute beating and keep going so excited to get out and chuck this thing around catch a few on that but that tactical shad color is man that looks good i like that but something for you guys to check out they, these again it's not a cheap bait but uh if it lasts as long as it's supposed to i guess it'd be worth it in the long run compared to going out you, you buy three or four packs of six inch swim baits you've spent 40 bucks one of these is 40 bucks so um, i don't think it's going to be a, a purchase that i regret get out and chuck this thing around and see if we can't get in some fish uh, but that's it that's all we've got um, i appreciate you guys tuning in check back next week and uh we'll have us a, another fishing video out and I'm going to go down to that sale and stock up. So make sure you guys check back. I'll go over everything that I pick up while I'm down there and uh, let you guys see what all we get. I'm going to start doing, starting to get a little warmer outside. It's been super windy the past couple days, so I've not been able to get out a whole lot in the kayak. But um, looking to, with this warmer weather, get out and start doing a lot of fishing. So look out for those videos we'll do some on the water stuff some uh hopefully some underwater stuff take some of these swim baits some of these burritos and the uh the mag drafts and coal sheds i'll probably get one of the zal dangerous ones and uh stuff like that that way you can see that different action 
and it's not going to be a this bait's better than this bait kind of thing. It's going to be a, more of a learning to let you see the action because I'm, I'm not going to get on here and knock anybody and say, well, this bait's a rip off of this bait or this bait does this. And it's, it's going to be just a, a pure, this bait swims this way, this bait swims this way. And just to give you guys a little insight of what it looks like under the water. Um, that way, if you're throwing one and, and they're hitting it a certain way, you can think, well, I need a downsize, but I need something that's got the same presentation or something like that. So uh, looking forward to getting out and doing stuff like that and being able to, to help learn and teach a little more. But again, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, if you haven't, please hit that subscribe button. It, it helps us out tremendously. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Y'all have a good one.